So Gary, is it Vincent? Gary Vincent. Yeah, right, cool. So I get some pencil lost on me. All right, we're doing five laps in the Ferrari 458 Italia. Uh, again, my name is David, in case you forgot. A couple things before we head out here. These mirrors are all set for me. You focus on driving, I'll worry about everybody else on track. Anybody comes behind you, I'll let you know. Foot off throttle, slip past you quick. When you catch people, my hand's kind of on the wheel, but just for safety, you're in control, don't let go. Um, just get close to know you're faster, wait for me until you pass right or left. Okay. Now, drive an automatic paddle shifters, what are we doing? Uh, I'll do paddle shifters. Good, do it. Up on the right, down on the left. I'll be telling you when to shift. We're using the full RPMs of this car, it's very loud. There's not a lot of shifting to do. It's gonna rev up for a ways. Just wait for me to say upshift or downshift. I'll keep in the right gear. Don't shift based on the noise. It's gonna right. make a louder noise. It's, yeah. yeah, I mean, where are we at? Little, little over eight grand is where we'll be shifting uh, with almost a straight piped exhaust. This thing is loud. Um, so, uh, get to the track, get to third gear. We'll build our speed. Double orange cones, the braking zones. Like I said, it's got great brakes. Just be smooth with it. The faster you're going, the harder we'll brake. Just keep that a nice, good motion. You'll come to a single green cone. That's your turn in. Get all the way to it. As you're turning in, make sure that you're slowly releasing that brake. Let the weight of the car be flat as you enter that corner. Um, really focus on hitting your apexes. You know, put a wheel on the red and white lines. As soon as you do and you can start straightening out, then start to accelerate. Uh, you have a lot of power going just to the rear wheels. If you're turning and add throttle, it will kick out on you. There is technically a trash control system, but it's not going to save you. Uh, it, this car will rotate very quickly. So um, you only have to unwind in this one. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And so same idea. The closer you are to the apex, is the more space you have to unwind. Just keep that focus on getting in tight. You know, slow in, fast out. That's what people like to call Ferraris. You come in, just getting in close. You have the room to run it out with all this power. Best piece of advice: keep your eyes ahead of yourself. <laughs> Give yourself time to see life coming. Fast you're going, keep looking up, you'll feel better. Uh, like I said, I'll be hollering and using the hand signals, so I'll give you upshift, downshift. I like brake, because I like release. Okay. And then we use the word balance a lot here. That, you know, you're, you're done braking, you don't need to slow down anymore, but you can't accelerate yet because you're still turning. Just that moment in the corner, just that patience, so you can get, start straightening out. Um, other than that, did you have any questions, concerns, worries, issues? I don't think so. Oh, so these don't move, but they don't move, they're big, but they're very so, big, yeah. yeah. And like I said, the steering's very tight. Uh, yeah. You're never gonna have, you know, no. you'll never be more so you're not than- you gonna be crossed over. Yeah, or... you'll get to about here. Okay. Not even a full 180 on, on this really tight hairpin down there. Um, yep. Just drive where you're comfortable. I'll be pushing you a bit, cause that's fun for me. If there's anything I don't like, you know, I'll, I'll let you know. <laughs> we'll smooth it out, we'll go from there. You'll, we, we'll fix anything that might happen and uh, kind of build off that. Um, if you're feeling good, man, let's let's go feel it. It's the only okay. way to know. Foot on the brake, upshift once. That comes off. Nice and smooth. You can turn a little bit to the right. Uh, we want to kind of pull out. And make it when you're ready. Nice knees to the white wall. Get there, take a left. Just pull up right to that stop sign. Stop here. We got a whole bunch of guys coming, so okay. No rush. I prefer to have some clear track when you yeah, pull out. Space ahead. Yeah, because your first lap, you know, should be about eighty percent. You should down. be, you should be comfy. Especially here, they're gonna be, they're diving on you. Um. Actually, work clear when you're ready. Nice and smooth. Pull toward the green cone as you enter the track. Upshift into second gear. Start pulling out. Upshift once. Building your speed, upshift one more time. As you turn in, that single green cone heads straight towards it. The closer you get to it, the better. Very light brake to balance, apex here on the right. Be patient till you touch the red and whites. Now use all the track out to the left. This is the straight, build your speed. I'll tell you when to shift, let it rip. Upshift, orange cones, start to brake. Smooth brake, stay left. Eyes in, slowly release that brake. Let the car sit flat. Get down to the apex. Eyes up to your exit, very nice. Now throttle out to the left hand side. Keep it left all the way down this bit. Orange cone, start to brake. Left hand downshift once. You brake a little harder than you need to, that's making you want to come off the brakes early. So try and carry a little more momentum up to the corner. Just a light brake to balance, turn in, release the brake fully. A little tighter, maintain the speed to the top of the crest, halfway out, and accelerate. Work it back to the left hand side. Brake, stay left end, slowly release that brake and turn in tighter. Tighter. Keep turning in. Back on the throttle. End up on the right hand side. Just a light brake to balance. 
Let's turn an apex left, accelerate straight, and brake. Eyes in, slowly release that brake, but turn in. So your release should be with your hands. You should be releasing the brakes longer into the corner. Upshift. Same thing, we're going faster. Upshift, but don't lose so much speed. Brake. One downshift, that's good. Start easing off that brake. Turn in, keep turning. Because you shouldn't want to touch the throttle until that apex. You should be carrying more momentum. Build it up. Brake light. Very light. Perfect. Start turning in. Ease off that brake. Turn in, turn in, turn in. There it is. Now squeeze the throttle. Get to the right. Lift off the throttle. Turn in. Apex left. Be patient. Turn tighter. Now halfway out and accelerate. Brakes. One downshift. Ease off that brake. Keep turning. Apex first. Close you get to it. There you go. Look how straight we're coming out. Throttle back to the right hand side. Just a light brake to balance. Turn an apex left. Accelerate straight. Brake smooth. Start easing off the brake. Turn your head. Really look down that straightaway. See where you want to go. Because you can come in tighter here. We're going to pass them on the right. Run them down. Upshift. Full throttle. Go. Upshift. Back to the left. Smooth brake. One downshift. Eyes in. Slowly release that brake and turn. Tighter. Tighter. Now throttle all the way out to the left. Good. Having fun yet? Brake. One downshift. Start easing off that brake pedal. Good. Tighter turn. Now squeeze the throttle. Just lift off and turn in. Get closer. Watch your throttle. You're throttling before the hill. It's going to get light. Brake. Keep it wide. Start turning in. Easing off that brake. We're steering first. The throttle causes understeer. That's why we're getting pushed out a little bit. Get to the right. Light brake. Turn in. Tighter. 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 Accelerate. Brake and downshift. Ease off that brake. Get in there first. So you're already accelerating. Now push. There you go. Upshift. Upshift. And brake. One downshift. Eyes in. Ease off. Release. 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 Keep turning. Look up. Use every inch of that track. Nicely done. Brake. Eyes in. Start backing off the brakes. Tighter turn. Add throttle. All the way to the right. Ease off and turn. Keep turning. Keep turning. Tighter. No throttle before the hill. As you feel you're getting lighter every time. Brake smooth. Ease off and turn in. The benefit of not accelerating is you get more steering. The closer you can come in, there you go. Come to the right. Brake to balance. Tighter in, tighter in. Now throttle out. Brake, turn your head, downshift, and release. Get in closer. Closer. Out. Better. Upshift. Upshift. And brake. Downshift. Start easing off that brake. Release fully. Just turn. Tighter, tighter, tighter. Throttle. Apex first. Now throttle out of it. Get to the right. Lift off the throttle and start turning. Just be patient. Be patient. Be patient. Tighter turn and accelerate. Good. Brake firm. Ease off and turn in. Closer, closer. You're already on the throttle. That's what's making you exit so wide. You got great momentum. Just be patient. You're right there. Lift off, turn in. Look in. Accelerate. Brake, downshift, ease off and turn. Turn, turn, turn. There you go. Maintain. Until you can straighten out. Every inch. Break. Downshift. Start easing off. Don't lose too much speed. Because then you know you're slow and you come off really fast. I want you to carry that brakes every time in a mid-engine car. That's the only keeping our front end down. So brake light. So you can turn in and start turning tighter, 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 tighter. Add throttle. To the right. Ease off and start turning. You're fine. Good momentum. Just be patient. Keep turning. Tighter. Now straighten out. Good. Brake firm. We are coming off the track here. So that yellow cone just to the right of it. Black cone now. Good. Nice. Good. How was that? It was good. Yeah. A little different machine. Some work. Yeah. You know. I think it was a big thing of just letting a little bit of trail braking do the work instead yeah. of 
going off and break the throttle. So and and that's that's what's tricky about this car because you feel it's a great driver's car. You know, it, it really does move well. But when you have something that's responsive, when when you do make a mistake, it's obvious. Yeah. Um, which is can be frustrating. Uh, but the other side of that is if you noticed how much faster you got from beginning to end. You know, because anything that might have been a, a habit is suddenly obviously slow. It's obviously, you know, cutting you off or, or you know, making you run wide or something. And then it's right there and you go, oh, that sucks. I don't want to do that anymore. Yeah. And so you adjust. Number three is good. Um, so, you know, driving, here, pull both paddles same time. Foot off the brake. We should just roll forward a little bit. Right there, good. Um, then you can take a foot off the brake and we're parked. So driving, you're always going to find little walls. You're, mm -hmm. you're going to find places that you can, because you, know, you, you can't be perfect. It's, yeah. You know, yeah. you're always got to be reaching, and especially when you're jumping in a new car first time, it, it, it's all different. So, you know, never knock yourself. It, yeah. it's, it's progress. You got to get there. It, you're going to have rough days. You're going to have good days. Um, but with that, you know, you felt in a in a car like this, when you're, you know, it's very, you know, this car is stock, so the suspension's still softer than say like a, a full out race car. Mm -hmm. And, and this is a momentum track. You have these huge, long, sweeping corners yeah. where, you know, it's a continuous turn in. So that whole time you're turning in is when you're reducing something else. If you think about 100%. Yeah, and it was part of it, was, you know, it was like, I was just laying into the brakes the whole way yeah. and then release them. And, and I really right. should have been trail braking through a right. lot more parts of it, yeah. And and it means, use, and what's hard is that means braking less before. Mm -hmm. It means coming in with a lot higher speed, which when you've only been in the car for two minutes, is hard to ask for yourself. Hard to know how you much know. that is. Exactly. Yeah. You know, you, you don't know, like, um, and, and but that's what I'm, I'm, I was trying to point out there. Like, if you feel when you're turning in and you were confident to come off the brake quickly, it's because you know the car can't corner that speed. Mm -hmm. So if you don't come that speed, come in a little quick next time. You know, carry a little more. Because it, it should be braking, and then as you're turning in, your foot is easing off the brake. So that, yeah, you yeah. know, it's proportions. But when you're fully turned in, you're off the brake and aren't even thinking about the throttle. Because if you come on the throttle, you know you're going to slide. Yeah, and, and then coming back out. So, yeah. so same thing. So if you're feeling, oh, I can throttle early, it's because you could have been carrying more speed. Yeah, so then you come exactly, back Exactly, I'm too slow already. Exactly. So, yeah. And then the other side of that, you know, if you come in and you're easing off the brake, you got a beautiful trail brake, and you're, you cannot get to that apex, you can't turn in, then oh, I'm coming a little too high. I got to back off a little more than that. And then you just you just keep working you find that line you make that little difference very very small because um, you were very nice great line you you're good progression you have really great eyesight you know you're really looking where you want to go and that keeps everything really smooth you know this car was never crazy out of control uh, and because of that we can push faster so yeah. Great job, man! I, you know, that's yeah, that's 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 good fun. For oh, something new to learn. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, are you driving anything else here today? I know. I'm awesome. Well, today. I just want to say thank you. Thanks, I'm dude. gonna power this down. Uh, if you're doing the drift ride along with that, do that first. When you're all done for the day, <laughs> take the USB to the front desk. Um, you can ask for a preview, get speeds and lap time, just see how much you did progress. Uh, any last questions for me? I don't think awesome. so. Yeah, like I say, you know, after a while. Unfortunately, like I say, you only have a little bit of time, and all of a sudden, towards the end, you're like, oh, I think I'm starting to get it. I think Absolutely. I know what I'm doing wrong. So. 